Hi guys, it's Nicole and Jason. He's on camera duty. Hey. And welcome back to Honest Try TV. And today we're hoping we can harvest some stuff. Hey. So this is our 8 by 12 foot Zeta raised garden from Costco. Um, we bought her on sale for, what was it? You remember? I don't know. It was like nine ninety nine, I think. <clears> something, something like that. Yeah. And then we put it together with my parents. And that was in the spring. And so here we are, beginning late summer, I guess. And voila, we've got a garden. So our in our last episode, you were watching me put together the, the um, trellises here so that I can mount up our tomatoes because they're going a little crazy. As you can see, I kind of planted too many in one spot. So we've got more like a tomato jungle going on at the moment. Um, but I got them, um, I got the trellises in and I've got them attached so that they're actually, um, my tomato plants are standing up straight now for the most part. And as you can see, we have several. We have lots and lots and lots of tomatoes coming in. I, I guess we'll just walk around the neighborhood and give them away. I don't even know. Oh, Jason, look, that one's come along. So we're starting to get some um, ripening action going on. But as you can see, we got a lot. Can you see this cluster right oh, here? You see where my, where I'm pulling? Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, we got those. We got that one down there. We got this cluster right here. Boom, boom. We got that cluster in the back. Mm -hmm. See them? Yeah. Got that one on the right. Boom. Oh, yeah, we got a lot, a lot, a lot. The tomatoes are not quite ripe. They're a little out of control. Again, this is what happens when you plant six tomato plants in one location. You get a jungle of tomatoes. Look at this. Like, this is crazy. Boom, 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 boom. And they're not the little ones. They're heirlooms. They're the big ones. Nice. So, yeah, we're going to have way too many. So, anywho, uh, let's see who's next. So, I have my little basket here for harvesting. Can you hold this for me? Yes. And, uh... These are our jalapenos. Again, planted too much too close. So as you can see, the um, tomatoes here, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to pin these bad boys up. They're trying to, they're trying to invade. So these are, this right here in my left hand are tomatoes. So let's just send you over here, friend, because you're like in the wrong playpen. Come on. Go, let's go back, back to our neighborhood. <laughs> okay, there we go. Ugh. And I, I don't know, that's not going to last long. <laughs> so these are our jalapenos starting, starting, starting here, basically. And so let's start with our little buddy here in the back and see what we got. Ah, uh, hello friend. Hey, I'm just going to pluck whatever I find. Okay, guys, so this is what we have for jalapenos. There's a couple of other baby ones like here, but we need to give them a little bit more time. Um, jalapenos are probably the easiest and they came the quickest um, out of everything we planted. Next up, we have our eggplant Japanese eggplant so he's not quite ready um, it's gonna get bigger than this so we got one two nice. so far so far we've got two got another bloom right here so probably become three and that's it right now for the Oh, we got more oh, blooms. Bloom yeah, right yeah, we got more blooms coming. So we'll have more. We've already gotten one so far this season. And I'm just going based off the size of the first one. That one was pretty big compared to these suckers. Now, man down, we will not be getting any. Hold on, let me see if I can even find him. Bless his little soul. Um, does he even exist anymore? Bless his little soul. <laughs> Let me see, him. see if I can find him. Which one? Oh, this is it. This is, is it. no, that's this. This. Do you see this? This little scrawny piece of crap right here. This is our okra plant. Oh, yeah, that's gone. He's, he didn't make it because of the forest. 
the um yeah this is this is what happens when you plant stuff too big big massive plants like this too close together they go to war like our tomatoes are clearly like gonna encroach and try to go to war with the jalapenos which is okay because we have a crap ton of jalapenos but yeah so don't do that because as you can see our little green okra he didn't make it <laughs> and these this massive bunch of stuff right here these are all um bell peppers so they're starting to come in see we got several a little one right there got a little one over here you see that one yes see that one right here and the little baby ones well right you got little baby clusters up here you got several back here see a little baby 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 right here yep you got some bigger ones back here. See these two? Yeah. Yeah. So they're they're still coming. Um, they're gonna get bigger. Next we have our squash plant. He's slow as hell. Sorry, he's just really slow. <laughs> um, he's got lots of blooms and which should equate to squash, but I don't see anything on him just yet. I don't know. He looks like he's doing good otherwise, but I don't see any actual squash i'm just double checking yeah there's nothing in there nothing in there moving on chard our chard is doing all right um i'm gonna harvest some of this because it's ready so let's just get down here at the base and snip there we go and i've been using these in my in my pregnancy smoothies to get some green edge going on. Down here, friend. Just the leaves, not the stems, because the stems tend to be uh, quite bitter. Um, I haven't cooked with them yet, though. So, maybe we can do that. Ugh! My stomach's in the way, I can't lean forward as far as I would like. Come here. Here we go. Um, so this is our little herb lab right here. As you can see, I have cilantro, uh, sage, and over there next to our little basket is rosemary. Rosemary ain't doing so hot. Rosemary, granted, I have been clipping a lot of it, but cilantro is going crazy. What I don't understand is like if this part of it is as good as the little part. Because normally when you buy cilantro in the store, it doesn't look like this, right? With the blooms no. and such. It looks like this. Yeah. Like the new leaves. So I'm thinking that I have to trim it and get rid of this stuff and keep it short. Because I don't think I can use, you know, these more mature leaves. I don't know. Someone in the comments, feel free to tell me. But when I buy cilantro in the store, it doesn't look like that. It looks like this. You know, like the baby leaves, the new ones. Yep. So I'm just going to trim her up so that um, that's all we're getting. All right, so I'll clean up the cilantro. Well, Jason will clean up the cilantro yes. a little later. In the meantime, we got a big old box of tomatoes from Costco. So I'm going to harvest some sage. So we can make a pricey salad. Nice. I also have fresh mozzarella. So that'll be nice. Uh, yeah. Okay, guys. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for joining us, joining us on this gardening adventure. We have no idea what we're doing. So mistakes were made, but whatever. <laughs> We're still making stuff or growing stuff, so yay! <laughs> <laughs> so we will see you later. I'm going to go inside and make a caprese salad with my stuff, and I've got chard for my smoothies in the morning. And yeah, we'll see you next time on another episode of Honest Try TV. Bye! Bye!